Good morning, friends. So today we are, actually we started our morning really early. I went for a run, 5.30 in the morning, got a 10 miler in, came home, switched off, Blanca took off, went for a run, uh, for her 10 miler run. And now that we're ready and dressed and clean, uh, we're now at the museum. So San Antonio has had a children's museum for a very long time actually, um, but it was, it was time for an upgrade. Uh, and so in June in 2015, they closed, they chose a new location, and they reopened. Uh, five years later, they are now known as the voted best children's museum in the nation. That's pretty good. So let's check it out. Check it out, this is really cool. Papalote Museo del Niño, Mexico City. So this is a live view of the Children's Museum in Mexico City. And I guess they should be able to see us from the other side. No! <laughs> <laughs> Why were we finding me the other way into Western and Eastern? Yeah! Where you see them, press <laughs> So they just announced the Maker's Workshop recently over the intercom. We're going to go ahead and uh, try it out and see what we can do. Oh, look at this one. Woo, good job, baby. Bug. Butterfly. Let me see. Show that. Mateo, can you see me? Can you see daddy? Mateo, what are you doing, baby? All right, I think we're done with the little workshop and it's time to just move on to the next station. You can see someone's previous creation here, just floating around. All right, so last year we got to visit the uh, Thinkery in Austin, the Children's Museum in Houston, and the Children's Museum in uh, Dallas. The Dallas one was more like the natural museum and they just had an area that had kids play. Um, we still have a long way to go in the uh, to explore here but so far the museum here in San Antonio does um, offer something for all age groups not the older kids only. We're gonna go check out outside for a second. Let's try again. 
Had to move a little bit. Check out these cool seating options. Cool treehouse. Dear look. All right, so this is not exactly a splash pad, but this is an awesome little area where you can get your feet wet and have a good time. So I never got to visit the original Children's Museum, but it's really cool to see everything that um, museums or children's museums have nowadays. It's just, it's awesome. It's amazing. Are you angry? The struggle of putting socks on wet feet. Sorry. Yeah. Thank you. All right, so we just, we just entered Tiny Town where you can be a pilot or a construction worker. Okay, get over here. Fly your plane. Guess who's back? We're really ready to travel. Yeah, trucks. Tractor, tractor. So we only did a portion of the whole museum. Uh, we will sure be back and do the whole thing. But uh, yeah, we got uh, season passes and it's most definitely worth it. It's the only problem with going to museums and this toys in the store. I really like this one. All right, I'm gonna get this one for Teo. Teo? What you got, So as mentioned earlier, we have gone to the Austin Children's Museum, the one in Houston, the one in Dallas, and of course the one in San Antonio. I gave my opinion a little earlier. Blanca is, I know you haven't visited all of them, but is this, do you think this really is considered number one in the nation in or at least nation? in Texas? I know for sure Texas, San Antonio's Children's Museum is like the best one because we've been to all of them. And I mean, the Austin one, I feel it's more pro. I say it's the best because really it has, it has outdoor, it has indoor, it has for under two, for over two. That one was mainly like, you could tell, you have definitely have to have to be five, like five and up in order to participate in everything. Because then the only thing really you could participate in was like, the water part or like the little outside area but this one 
And then they have um, classes here where it's also by age. So I just think it, it's really, it's a really good one. I think it's time to go eat too.